was shaking people. Back with another reaction, back with some more aha. Uh -huh. And we're moving on to their sixth studio album, 2000, Minor Earth, Major Sky. Uh, really enjoy the name. Um, obviously, it's two sets of contrast, you know, minor and major, as well as earth uh, and sky, which, you know, in, especially in you know, classical mythologies in a number of sort of cultural perspectives, as well as in a more literal, physical, like empirical sense, um, you know, there is a contrast between the realm that we live in, um, for the most part. Obviously, there are humans who orbit the Earth and the, the ISS and other places, and, you know, people 50,000 feet um, above the Earth are very much in the sky. Nevertheless, um, it is still a, a classical... Um, distinction and dichotomy between the terrestrial plane um, and the atmospheric one. In any case, uh, I just enjoy the poetry of the title, and indeed, uh, the reason I mention this is because we're going to listen to the title track, um, so that'll serve as a sort of segue slash title speculation in the same breath. I do want to mention, um, I am going to go through Morton's solo albums. Um, I've since um, got them all on my computer. I got them all ready to go. I noticed that there's... Um, uh, sort of promo track that he did in 93, uh, which I believe is a cover of a Frankie Valli song, I uh, Can't Take My Eyes Off You, maybe I have that wrong, but that is definitely a song by Frankie Valli, so if that's the same song, I'm looking forward to it, because I enjoy that song, but the idea of Morton singing it sounds very exciting. Nevertheless, uh, we are here for the next Aha uh -huh album. A couple of you pointed out <clears throat> that during the middle to the later part of the 90s, it wasn't so much that they had, you know, decided to break up permanently and they didn't want to work together, it was more that they kind of wanted to pursue some different solo projects, um, which again, having um, gotten ready to listen to the Morton solo stuff, um, the, I have like already a physical um, example of that, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but yeah, my understanding based on what some people said is that during this period, it wasn't so much that they swore off ever doing Aha uh -huh again, it's just they wanted to focus on some different things. And then they came back for this album, uh, and a couple people have said they very much enjoy this. I've seen a couple other people say they enjoy it, maybe not their absolute favorite, but there's nothing um, bad that Aha uh -huh is done, which I do enjoy. Like, I absolutely know what that's like, whether it's, you know, a techno artist I've been listening to for a long time, or indeed, you know, another synth-pop group, something like Depeche Mode, who I have a much longer history of following very closely, um, you know, I like some albums better than others, I like some songs better than others, but honestly, I enjoy most of what they do, uh, and so far I'm enjoying pretty much everything that AHA has done, so um, even though I have more context for this in relation to some other groups, um, I am beginning to, you know, move into the character, the category, or territory, rather, of, okay, so that's five full albums, and I don't remember disliking, like, a single song. Again, some may be better than others, but, um, yeah, as we get to the sixth album, it does feel like, you know, they really haven't left a lot of bad songs in their discography. In any case, um, as I said, we're going to listen to the title tune, uh, Minor Earth, Major Sky. So I'm wondering how this contrast will come into play. So I'm wondering if it will be, you know, a statement about humanity more broadly, or whether it'll be sort of like a scene or atmosphere setting for someone's personal experience, maybe in conjunction with other people, or at least another person. Uh, but yeah, bottom line, <clears throat> it just makes me think of the stark contrast, and again, sort of on a large level, right? Like, Earth and Sky um, are major concepts, much larger than a person or a city or even, you know, a society that encompasses the whole of the terrestrial world upon which we live and all that we see when we look up into the heavens or the, uh, the celestial plane, if you will. So bottom line, uh, it feels like it's a song that will have some scope or scale, but let's find out. This is Aha, uh, Minor Earth, Major Sky, from the album of the same name, 2000. Ooh. Moody, sort of like, a little mystical, a little exotic. Now with a bit of grit and low end. 
first time his voice has done that to me on this new album. Try, 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 but I never get it right. The will is there. But something else is lacking. But yeah, number one, um, a really cool opening to the album. Uh, it, again, it feels different, say, than what we just heard on Memorial Beach, but it also, you know, feels different from the albums in the 80s. You know, I imagine, again, it's going to be an issue, or not an issue, it'll be um, sort of that dynamic whereby there will be aspects and hallmarks of their music that will remain true, but there will also, I imagine, be different explorations or a different sound um, specifically than maybe anything that's come before. Uh, but I did very much enjoy that. I like those cinematic sections, which were, again, like, 
I'm just thinking of like a massive like vista, you know, high definition like, um, you know, with a contrast of maybe like a desert scene where the distinction between earth and sky is much uh, more significant. Admittedly, like listening to it, it felt like the contrast was in the scale, but like not equal on both sides. Like it, it was asymmetrical that, you know, this, you know, maybe this tiny, this minor earth where we humans exist in this major sky. Um, where, you know, there's these grand processes so, you know, beyond our own level um, of existence and in some cases comprehension. Um, so even if it wasn't about those themes, like specifically, like um, conceptually, um, I did feel that contrast because the groovy parts of the tune, um, which again, they had a very like driving kind of progressive feel, um, those felt, you know, very human. It, it's the kind of like, you know, um, pop rock sound that humans make when they make music and then those like cinematic interludes felt you know something beyond something you know like um, on a much higher scale or plane of the universe uh, than we humans so the way it sort of hopped back and forth between those uh, it not only seemed to kind of like manifest at least conceptually or at least um, musically or sonically uh, the aspect of the title, uh, but it also seemed to, um, again, have a real sort of um, dynamic interplay between um, the, you know, the human and the non-human. So, in any case, uh, I didn't pick up all the lines, of course, um, but I did pick up a few. Um, I'm not quite sure um, why things are not um, working for him or why he doesn't, um, can't get things right, even though he tries and he tries and he tries. Um, but even, you know, with just that sort of kernel um, to work from, it's a really like emotional song in the sense that, you know, whether he's talking to himself or whether he's explaining to someone else, um, the idea of trying to come to terms with why things haven't worked for you is, you know, is it because, you know, things just happen to fall not in my favor in this situation or that, or just sort of the happenstance of the way that like the chips fall in life? Or is it that, you know, I have some lack of aptitude or I'm not focused enough or, you know, I don't have like people in the right positions to sort of steer me or guide me in the right direction? Um, yeah, it does beg the question to me um, exactly um, what is going on in his life that means um, or that has led him to say that, you know, he continually tries to achieve things, but whether it's external or internal, it's just not happening. So. Um, yeah, intrigued by the lyrics too, uh, but bottom line, a great opening to the album. Um, again, it seems like that's something they really have a good sense for, how to open and close an album. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of the tune. Looking forward to this. Again, I'm going to react to some solo Morton stuff too, so let me know what you think about that. Other than that, I will see you next time. Peace.